people that I see at home tend to be people with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It's a disease of the lungs whereby people can't breathe, which affects every aspect of their life. They can't move, they can't eat, they can't talk. What I provide, I go to their home, I give them reassurance, I have the time, I will talk with them, I will tell them how their lungs work, how to make the most of the space that they have. I can show them on my SATS machine that if you do this with your breathing technique, you will be able to breathe. Through my non-medical prescribing, I can prescribe the drugs that will help these people breathe. I can teach them how to use the inhalers so that they can make the most of the medication that they have. My name is Bill Frischenden. Um, I'm 67 years of age. I was a publican for 24 or 25 years. Prior to that, I worked in a family restaurant in Hammersmith. From there, we took over different pubs throughout different parts of the country. My health got worse, so we decided that enough was enough. And I retired from the pub trade, and that's when we come to live at Denham. Since I've been at Denham, um, my condition has got worse. And now there's a, a system in place whereby I've been a, appointed a community matron. At first, when this came, I didn't really know, you know, what it was all about. But since I've had um, my community matron, Diane, um, and everything's been explained to me about her role and her, you know, her job in the community, and about in and out of hospitals, everything has worked out so well. She does things for me that helps keep me out of hospital, helps getting me treated at home where I don't have the exertion or the trouble of getting dressed, getting in a car, getting in and out of a wheelchair. And then the same thing on the return journey, she comes indoors and spends as much time as she needs to, be it 10 minutes if need be, an hour and 10 minutes if need be. Explains everything very clearly and very thoroughly and if it wasn't for people like Diane, I would certainly be in hospital probably every other week. For me, I have the best job ever. I have the power to enrich other people's lives, to give them the time that they have on the earth, the best that it can possibly be. If I was a long-term condition patient, I would certainly want me. You know, summing it all up, I would say from my personal point of view, it's a system that, that's got to be, I won't say improved, it's got to be pushed more and more and more to keep more and more people out of hospital. Because I certainly prefer, like now, sitting at home, in the comfort of my own home, booked by my own bed, read and enjoy, you know, being at home without the trials and tribulations of hospitals Doctors in and out, up and down, no rest. I can go and fall asleep when I want, wake up when I want.